Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with another process video and this one is for Cheeky Studio. And so I am using the new collection from Cheeky Studio that is called Pandemon Pandemonium. And it has a whole pack of really adorable pandas and little butterflies. And um, there's some pandas with balloons and some looking up like at the stars. There's just a ton of options. And so I decided to pair this collection up with the Popsicles and Pandas collection. And this is from Bella Boulevard. And it's a little bit older collection. Um, but it's really bright, fun colors. And it's, it's just a super, super fun collection. And so I decided I wanted to make a grid layout across the bottom half of my page. And so I've included a 4x4 photo. And this is one of our favorite desserts. So my family is all about, like, desserts and learning new recipes and um definitely things that are oreo related are are huge um successes in our dessert department and so these were some really huge um like oreo dessert bars and my son decided that they should be called panda treats and so i wanted to tell the story of not just making those that fun dessert but also the fact that the panda treats were kind of the name he came up with and so he'll ask specifically for those and so I'm just creating a little border here along the top of the page. And I only have the 6x6 six six, or the 6x8, six excuse me, paper pad. So I know that I have to kind of weld things together up there. And I'm going to take care of that issue here in a second. And so I've created a 2x2 two two grid down here on the bottom part of the layout. And then I have my photo nestled in there as well. And then I'll move the layout up here in a second. I apologize for it being off screen a little bit but I have three pandas scattered in a couple of those spaces. So I'm going to put one that sits right on top of my photo and that's gonna become part of a title element here in a little bit. And then I'm also gonna include one that you can see in that little red square and then I also have one in the bottom red square. So there's gonna be kind of that visual triangle of three of these adorable pandas. And the thing I love about the ephemera packs from Cheeky Studio is they come with so many pieces that you can really create a lot of layouts with them. I really had a great time with that last month working with the pirate collection because there are so many pieces in these ephemera packs. And this one is the exact same way. And I just chose three of the general ones. But if you go on the website and check out um, all of the options that are out there, there's a ton of really cute ones that come in this pack for other things. And I'll be using some more later in the month, too. And so I'm getting that little guy tucked in there on top of my photo. And I've gotten all that stuff down in the bottom kind of glued down. So now I'm going to work on gluing down the things at the top. And I'm just meeting those papers up in the middle. And there is going to be a line there. But I am going to add some washi tape up here across the top. And so it becomes very, very subtle. There's just a tiny little piece showing where you can tell that it's not one continuous piece. Um, but I'm okay with that. It isn't, it isn't a big deal to me. So then I went through, um, from the Popsicles and Pandas collection and grabbed a couple of these little clips. And I'm not going to use them as clips. I'm just really going to use them as ephemera. So this one says the coolest and it's going to become part of my title. And so it's just going to be a little banner right there by that panda. And then I'm going to end up putting one up in the top left that has a little panda on it that says summer. And that's going to be kind of like a secondary title. So then I went ahead and grabbed a puffy sticker that says summer and then I'm adding these puffy red letters from Freckle Fawn that says treats. So my title is going to say the coolest summer treats. And then I wanted to add this little banner that says happiness is homemade. So I'm just cutting it into pieces so that I can kind of piece it back together to fit in the space that I have. And you'll be able to see that a little bit better in the close ups because I do kind of mess around with it and play with it a little bit here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add just a few other elements to kind of tie everything together. I really enjoy playing with this black cardstock background. I feel like it really makes um, patterns and colors pop up off the page. So if that's not something you've tried before, I highly encourage you to give that black background a try. Um, I am going to go ahead and add just a few stars. And these are from Bella Boulevard. And so I finished that little secondary title up in that top left hand corner by just adding a little die cut that says fun. So it's going to say summer fun up there at the top. And then my title itself just says the coolest summer treats. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some journaling to this top left hand box in my grid. And it just talks about 
you know, were always looking for summer treats, and these were a definite hit because they had so many Oreos used in them, and that my son officially decided these should be called Panda Treats, and so that's kind of what the kids ask for at this point. And that's basically going to do it for this layout. So I kept the embellishing pretty simple to make those little pandas really stand out. And I love that one that has become part of my title element. So definitely head on over to Cheeky Studio and check out the Pandemonium uh, ephemera pack, which is just chock full of the cutest little pandas ever. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!